With this recent battery technology, we have noticed that the smartphone battery capacities are actually becoming bigger while the smartphone sizes are becoming smaller. So what exactly is this new smartphone battery technology? I recently made a video on the Oppo Find X8 series, the Vivo X200 Pro. They have one thing in common, they all use the new silicon carbon battery. And this trend seems to continue and even the next launching flagship devices will all be featuring this silicon carbon battery. The main advantage of using a silicon carbon battery over a typical lithium battery is that this battery can have more capacity in lesser size. But how does this work? If you notice, in the last 30 years, the battery technology has been evolving and this silicon carbon is one of the most innovative battery technology here. But many people have misunderstood that the silicon carbon batteries are not lithium batteries, but that is not Silicon true. carbon batteries and lithium batteries don't have that much of a difference. You guys know a battery has two terminals, right? A positive and a negative. We call it the cathode and anode. In silicon carbon batteries, the cathode which they are using is actually lithium. The actual difference is in the anode. In normal lithium ion batteries, the anode is made of graphite. But in silicon carbon batteries, they use a silicon carbon composite in the anode. And because of this, these kind of batteries will have more energy storing capacity. The common lithium ion battery with a graphite anode has around 372 milliampere hour per gram. But when it comes to the silicon composite battery, you can store up to 470 milliampere hour per gram. Which means per gram the energy stored by a silicon carbon battery is way higher than a traditional lithium ion battery. So if you compare two same size lithium ion battery and the silicon carbon battery, the silicon carbon battery can have more capacity than the normal lithium ion battery. Since this is a revolutionary technology, you guys might think this might be the end of normal lithium ion batteries, but you might be wrong. Because silicon carbon batteries have one major problem. When you charge a silicon carbon battery, they tend to swell. So if you charge a silicon carbon battery, it becomes bigger. When it discharges, it becomes smaller. But this kind of a behavior we have not seen in normal lithium ion batteries. So if you see this journal, they have actually studied a lot about this. And what they have found out is that these kind of batteries, they are not sure how good it will perform when it ages or in the long run compared to a normal lithium ion battery. Actually the study says that in long term if you are using the silicon carbon battery might degrade faster than a regular lithium ion battery. So initially you might have a very good battery backup, it will have a very great battery capacity but over time the capacity might degrade compared to a normal lithium ion battery. Oppo Find X8, Realme GT7 Pro, OnePlus 8. They all use the new silicon carbon battery and you can see they even advertise that thing a lot. But as a consumer, there is something which I need to share. So since these kind of batteries are not known how it will perform in the long run, this can be used by the smartphone industry as a way to get you upgraded to the next phone because we are getting smartphones with higher battery capacity in lower prices and we tend to buy them. but you use it for one year, two year and then the battery just degrades making you forcefully upgrade to the next version and this can be used as a means. But eventually smartphone companies they run on profits, they have to make profits to sustain. So this I don't know how good it will be. So what do you guys think of this new silicon carbon battery technology? Just let me know through the comments if you are new to this channel do subscribe. Until next time bye bye.